As the investigation of Microsoft continues for the purchase of Activision Blizzard, more information is coming out from the company. More specifically, $2.9 billion revenue from Game Pass. Is that profitable? Let's have a look right after this. Now one thing to remember that this is revenues, not actual income slash profit that they're making from this. So the 2.9 billion comes from game subscription services for consoles, meaning Xbox Game Pass, not including PC Game Pass. This makes up roughly about 18% of their total Xbox revenues, which sits at $16.28 billion. Now this information was in the report of Brazil's Administrative Council for Economic Defense, Cade. Now, Cade's report has explained why it has approved Microsoft's proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard, with no restriction. They believe that Sony should still have the means to remain competitive, just like Nintendo. They believe that, in turn, Sony has several predicates. Strength of the world's leading brand for more than 20 years, extensive experience in the sector, large user base, largest install base of consoles, robust catalog of exclusive games, partnerships with multiple third-party publishers, and brand loyalty amongst consumers which definitely should help it maintain competitiveness against all other companies. So many other jurisdictions and countries will be going through and reviewing the acquisition of Microsoft taking over Activision Blizzard and only time will tell what the conclusion will be. Many analysts believe that it's going to go through without any problems and if there are any Microsoft will be quick to repair them, fix them or issue a statement well, that will counter them fairly quickly. Until then, keep on gaming. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.